I saw this uh, tweet this morning, and I thought it was just worth mentioning. Um, it's just a such a typical example of <laughs> scripture twisting, sort of, but also just you know trying to just really just ham fist you know ram your narrative into the Bible. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me at all. But but it, at the very least, this is a very racist kind of view and it's unfortunately and, and I'm just gonna say this this is this is a tactic of the liberals now I'm not saying that the person who tweeted this is a liberal I don't know him well enough but he certainly he's certainly a social justice advocate um, he's in the OPC which is uh, pretty uh, unusual for an OPC person to be in the social justice warrior side of things but anyway let's just watch this video what we have here is according to this person is a uh, a racist white lady, you know, confronting and being angry with two Hispanic uh, women. I think uh, he says it's Hispanic. Uh, I don't think that's the correct term here, uh, stance grounded. I think that's actually a racial term. We like to be called Latinos now, so get with the times, brother. But anyway, uh, they're speaking Spanish, and this white lady comes and, 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 I don't know, says racist stuff to her. And this other white lady comes and saves the day. Well, let's watch this video and, and see what it's all about. This video has 5.5 million views. Wow, that's impressive. Harass people. Hey, you get don't out of here now. Yeah. You know what? Do not. Ooh. I don't I'm care. Calling. That's assault, sister. You just touched her. Let's let's watch that again. Look at that. People, hey, you get don't out of here. That's now. assault right there. You know what? Do not. I don't I'm care. calling the cops. You know what? You leave these women alone. Get out. You don't go. You come from a uh -uh. generation. No, I do not. I have respect, it. and it you does not lose matter. It. You, you don't harass it. people like this. You will this. lose your temper. All right. You know what? You will lose this country. No, you need yes, to you will. <laughs> you will lose this country. I like that. How you doing? <laughs> no, there he goes. All right. So, okay. <laughs> That was a good video. So I like that. Good for that white lady. You know, that's, you know, you see people getting, uh, you know, yelled at or harassed or whatever, and you defend them. Hey, that's cool. I, I have no problem calling that person a hero. I'm not going to use the word Shiro. That seems to be too, uh, I, you know, I haven't had enough soy today to use the word Shiro. But um, anyway, uh, no, that was a good video. I think that's cool. So if you see someone getting harassed racially, I think it's probably... A good idea if you're a Christian to step in and say, "Dude, what are you, what are you doing? These people are just shopping here." You know what I mean? Um, so that yeah. So if, if this video was in fact a white lady being racist towards two Latinas uh, because they were Latina, that's you know that's that's wrong. That's evil. I think we can all agree on that. The other thing is that I think a lot of people would say that those on my side of this issue would you know the social justice issue would say that racism doesn't exist. Like this this is this is proof that we're wrong. Nobody on my side of the issue says that racism doesn't exist. Everyone knows that racism exists. Uh, I know that it exists. I've experienced it personally. Um, and so this kind of thing is not surprising to me. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's what this is all about. Now, here's the comment that uh, Brother Mika said regarding this. He says, this is what a real Proverbs 31 woman looks like. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. For the rights of all who are destitute. Proverbs 31, 8. That's a great verse, by the way. I love that verse. But what I'm saying here is, when I saw this, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm like, what about this video, this 30-second video, shows you that these two women, these two Latina women, can't speak up for themselves, first of all. So why are these people helpless? And why are they destitute? You know, just because someone's Latina and a white person is being racist towards them doesn't mean that they're destitute. It doesn't mean that they're helpless. It doesn't mean that they need a hero to come in and save them. And they say that a hero saved us. Now, it's good that a hero came in and stood up uh, with them, but the reality is we're not victims. Like, if you're a Latino, you're not an automatic victim. You're not automatically helpless. You're not automatically destitute. You don't need a white person to come in and save you. Now, it's cool when white people stand with you. and uh, It doesn't even matter if you're white or whoever. It, it could have been a black person. It could have been anyone. It, anyone you know that, that comes in and stands with you in the face of, 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 of evil or, or harassment, that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. That's great. But we don't necessarily need it. We're not like these helpless victims. You, you see what I'm saying? And there's nothing in this 30 second video that, that shows me that these women are victims. In fact, one of the ladies is filming it. And she's just looking at this thing. 
uh, if you're just filming the, the, this incident, are you like terrified? The one woman does look scared, that's for sure. Um, but you don't see what happened before this, you don't see what happened after this. It's just, it's just preposterous. It's absolutely preposterous. Just because you speak Spanish doesn't mean you're a victim. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, so I just thought that was so funny. This is just so typical of liberals that they just assume. And this, is, this comes from critical theory. This comes from critical race theory. So if you're speaking Spanish uh, and someone who speaks English comes and harasses you, then, then you are automatically oppressed, you're automatically helpless, you're automatically destitute, and we need to do something about that. Now look, it's good that this lady stood up for him. It's good. That's a good thing. It's a good thing for Christians to stand up for people. But let's not assume that just because someone is a minority it means that they're automatically oppressed. That does not come from the Bible. That comes from critical theory. And it makes it has no compatibility with the Bible. The Bible says nothing about it. I find that so ridiculous. I am not oppressed. Well, I'm oppressed like everybody's oppressed. I have high tax rates as well. You know, the government oppresses me just like it oppresses everybody. What I'm saying is that you're not automatically a victim if you're Latino. And honestly, if you buy into that, that you're automatically a victim because you're black or Latino, I feel bad for you. I feel like, you know, you really should reconsider. That, that's, that's kind of pathetic to embrace this sort of victim mentality. I don't embrace it. I don't think these two women are victims. I think these two women are probably just as capable as anybody. They're just as, uh, just as, uh, as, as intelligent and smart as anybody. That's what I think about those two Latinas. Look, if I saw someone being racist toward them, I'd probably say something too, but let's not pretend like they're victims. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. God bless. You know, I was thinking a little bit more about the video, and I was thinking, you know, obviously that one lady in the video looks sort of scared, and understandably so. Any kind of confrontation is a little bit nerve-wracking. And then I was wondering, why is the other lady just filming it? You know, what's going on with that? I think really what was going on with that, and this is good advice for anybody, whether you're black, Latino, white, whoever, whenever you're in a confrontation, if you have a camera, start filming because what you want to have is something that is able to sort of surpass the he said, she said thing. If I bet you that the, the lady was filming because if it, it was time to throw down with this old lady, that she could say, okay, here's what was happening. It's not my fault. I was defending myself. That's good advice whether you're Latino, black, white, whoever. Have the video ready to go. I saw a video of this Russian uh, cab driver. He had a cab uh, video in his cab, and the woman was saying, uh, hey, I'm going to tell the cops that you raped me unless you give me some money or whatever. And the cop believed the lady, you know what I mean? The cop believed the lady, but then he said, he showed them the video. It's like, well, look at this lady. She's trying to extort me. Um, so that's good advice, man. If you've got those cell phone cameras, I don't have a cell phone camera. All right, this is my cell phone. You know, that got that, that flip phone uh, action, you know what I mean? Uh, that's my camera. I don't really have the option for the video, but if you do and you get in an altercation like this, use your video because that is a great witness to show that, you know, you weren't at fault. If you are at fault, that's a different story. Anyway, hope this is helpful. God bless.